Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll be exploring the concept of hazardous air quality and shedding light on the dangers associated with poor air conditions. Air quality is a crucial aspect of our environment and has a direct impact on our health and well-being. So, let's dive into the topic and understand what hazardous air quality means and why it should concern us all. Defining hazardous air quality. Hazardous air quality refers to a severe level of air pollution that poses significant risks to human health and the environment. It occurs when the concentration of harmful pollutants in the air exceeds safe levels, leading to a deterioration in air quality. These pollutants can include particulate matter, PM, ozone, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, and volatile organic compounds. Health impacts of hazardous air quality. Exposure to hazardous air quality can have detrimental effects on our health, ranging from mild discomfort to severe respiratory and cardiovascular issues. Here are some of the potential health impacts. 1. Respiratory problems. Inhaling polluted air can irritate the respiratory system, causing coughing, wheezing, shortness of breath, and exacerbating conditions such as asthma and bronchitis. Prolonged exposure may even lead to the development of chronic respiratory diseases. 2. Cardiovascular issues. Poor air quality is also linked to an increased risk of cardiovascular diseases, including heart attacks, strokes, and high blood pressure. The pollutants can enter the bloodstream and cause inflammation, damage to blood vessels, and systemic health problems. 3. Allergies and irritations. Certain air pollutants can trigger allergic reactions in susceptible individuals, causing symptoms such as itchy eyes, runny nose, sneezing, and skin irritations. People with pre-existing allergies or sensitivities may experience heightened discomfort during episodes of hazardous air quality. 4. Impaired lung function. Long-term exposure to pollutants can lead to reduced lung function, hindered lung development in children, and contribute to the progression of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. It may also increase the risk of respiratory infections and lung cancer. 5. Impact on mental health. Research suggests a correlation between poor air quality and mental health issues, including depression, anxiety, and cognitive decline. The stress of living in an environment with hazardous air can affect overall well-being and quality of life. Monitoring and prevention. To protect ourselves from the hazards of poor air quality, it is important to be aware of the air conditions in our surroundings. Monitoring agencies and organizations measure air quality using the Air Quality Index, AQI, which provides information on the pollution levels and associated health risks. Here are some preventive measures. Stay informed. Keep track of local air quality reports and alerts issued by authorities. Minimize exposure. Limit outdoor activities during periods of hazardous air quality, especially for vulnerable groups such as children, the elderly, and individuals with respiratory conditions. Use protective measures. When the air quality is poor, wear masks or use air purifiers indoors to reduce exposure to pollutants. Support clean air initiatives. Advocate for policies and practices that promote cleaner air, such as reducing emissions from vehicles, industrial sources, and power plants. Do masks help with air quality? Masks can help improve air quality by reducing exposure to particulate matter and certain pollutants. However, their effectiveness depends on the type of mask and the specific pollutants you are trying to filter. Masks designed to filter particulate matter, such as N95 respirators, can be effective in reducing exposure to dust, smoke, and soot. Masks with activated carbon filters can help reduce certain gases and odors. It is important to choose masks that are certified and recommended for the specific pollutants you want to protect against. However, addressing the root causes of air pollution and implementing broader environmental measures are crucial for long-term improvements in air quality. Conclusion Hazardous air quality poses a serious threat to our health and well-being. Understanding its definition and the potential health impacts allows us to take proactive steps to protect ourselves and our communities. By staying informed, practicing preventive measures, and supporting initiatives for cleaner air, we can contribute to creating a healthier environment for everyone. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our community for more informative content. Together, 
we can make a difference in safeguarding our air quality and improving our lives.